Here we are in section 3.5 with the answers to numbers 6 through 18. For 6 through 11, we are going to find the slope between each pair of points. So if we're doing the slope, we're going to be using this formula. m for slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's that formula shortcut that we've got there. So this one we're going to have 3 minus a negative 2, do the y's first, over the x is 7 minus 3, and so we get that the slope is 3 plus 2 is 5 over 4, 5 fourths. Number 7, here we're going to have 6 minus 1 over negative 7 minus 9. That gives us 5 over negative 16, 5, negative 5 sixteenths, that's what m equals. Here we have m equals negative 8 minus a negative 1 over negative 3 minus 5. Notice when you're subtracting a negative number, you put both negatives in there, and we end up with negative 9, oh, negative, and we end up with negative 7 over negative 8. The two negatives, when you're dividing, go away, and we end up with positive 7 eighths for our slope. Number 9, here we have that the slope is 3 minus 9 over negative 2 minus a minus 2. That's negative 6 over 0. Now if you were to stick that in your calculator, you would get error. Bad news. Or it should shock you. That's right there. That is what is called undefined. We are dividing by 0. Bad. Terrible. Never ever do that. So the slope here is undefined. Number 10, 6 minus 2 over 5 minus a minus 5. And we get 4 over 10. Slope is 4 tenths. Number 11, 1 minus 1 over 6 minus 19. That's 0 over negative 13. Punch that in your calculator and you will end up with a 0. So the slope is 0 here. Number 12, explain the difference between a slope of 0 and an undefined slope. It can best be seen by looking at number 11 and number 9. If we were to graph these guys, a little small graph here, but negative 2, 9 would be up there, negative 2, 3 is like right here. So you can see that an undefined slope is vertical, going straight up and down. Over here, if you were to do a little graph of that one, uh, 19, 1, and 6, 1, you can see that these guys are horizontal. So there's the difference between a slope of 0 is horizontal and undefined slope is vertical. And some people will use the phrase no slope. Some people think no means that, and other people think not a or undefined slope, and so no slope is kind of a little ambiguous unless you know what you're talking about. It officially means undefined slope over here, but some people think, oh, it's flat, it has no slope. So that phrase we will not use as much. All right, number 13. I'm going to use both shortcuts that we've learned now that we've learned them, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to here I'm going to get the slope. We need one point and the slope. Let's find a really nice point here. Ah, oh, there's not a nice one. If we put 0 there, that'll be gone. We have 4y equals 10. 10 divided by 4 is 10 fourths, which is 5 halves. So if I stick 0 in for x, I get 5 halves, and the slope is the that number over that number opposite. And so we get a positive 3 fourths. So we get 0, 5 halves, right up about there, and then up 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Number 14. Oh, this is already in y equals mx plus b, so we know that the slope is 2 over 1, and the y-intercept, 0, this number, negative 7. Very nice. 0, negative 7 is about down here, and the slope is up 2 over 1. There we go. I missed it a little bit, but you know what I meant. Right here we have, if you would have solved y to be by itself, so you add 3x over and then divide everything by 4, you would have had y equals 3 fourths x plus 5 halves. And you could have done that as well. That would have been fine. Okay. Oh, another one where y is by itself. So 
slope is 2 fifths and it goes to the point 0, negative 4. So 0, negative 4 and the slope is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there we have it. Number 16, y equals 17 is one of those special ones. You can imagine that there's 0x there. So slope is 0 and the slope intercept is 0, 17. So we go up here to where y is 17 and the slope is 0, meaning it is straight across. Or you could have done it the old fashioned way in 0, 17, 1, 17, 2, 17. As long as the y stays at 17 and x can do whatever it wants. Number 17 here mx plus b, so there's the slope, slope is negative 3 sevenths and it goes to the point 0, negative 2. So we have the point 0, negative 2 and it goes 1, 2, 3 down and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over, there we go, something like that. And the last one, number 18, slope is the opposite of 2 over negative 6. That's a positive 2 6 is 1 third. So the slope is going to be 1 third. And now let's get a good point. Um, I want to do, let's stick in 0 for y. That looks like a 2 times 6 will equal 12. You could have done the y intercept just as easy, but we have the point 6, 0 right here. And a slope of 1 third. That's up 1 over 1, 2, 3. There we go. And that tells us everything we need to know about the problem. Good.